Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to the next episode of Supernatural Season 3. Last week we watched Dream A Little Dream of Me, and we went into Bobby and Dreams, Dreams, Dean's, Dean's Dreams, Dean's, which one's right, Dean's, Dean's Dreams. It's like a tongue twister, the more you say it, the less it sounds right. <laughs> went into Bobby and Dean's Dreams, and we found out about Bobby's past a little bit, that he killed his wife, she was possessed, and it was before he was a hunter, didn't know how to save her, so that was really sad. And we learned a lot more about Dean's mental state. It was kind of stuff we already knew in that he was scared, put putting up walls. But it was good to see him kind of confront his feelings about his dad and going to hell. And he finally admitted to Sam that he didn't want to die. He didn't want to go to hell. Obviously, we've got six episodes left before the end of the season three, where I presume the end date is going to be for the deal. Ruby's no longer as useful as she thought she was, we thought she was going to be. So I don't really know what's going to happen. I can't really guess. I can only presume that the next few episodes maybe you're going to focus on Sam and Dean actually more actively looking for, a, a, not a cure, but a way out of the deal. But the Crossroads demon's dead. Ruby's not a lot helpful. So I don't see any avenues right now other than they maybe go to the person who has the contract. So we don't know who that is. We just know that the Crossroads demon said that the deal, even if she dies, which they did, Sam killed her, is on a contract which is with her boss. Uh, we don't know who that is. I can only guess that they're going to try and find it out. Maybe this episode, maybe that. I don't know. All I know is this episode is called Mystery Spot, and it's a fan favourite. There's a few comments I've had saying I can't wait to get to. I can't wait for you to get to episode eleven. Can't wait for you to get to Mystery Spot. So I can only assume it's a great episode. People love it. It's usually one of two things, right? So what I've realised from fan favourite episodes from season two in particular. So two fan favourite episodes of series two are Tall Tales comedy episode. Uh, um. What is and what should never be? Devastating episode. So this episode's either going to be really funny or really sad, right? I'm hoping it's the first because I'm not in the mood to cry today. Come on, guys. Just give me some breaks. I cry enough for Supernatural. So I'm hoping it's a funny one. I'm thinking it will be because I don't know. Other than since episode three, Bad Day at Black Rock, we've not had like a comedy episode, I don't think. If we have... I've kind of forgotten it. But with the title, I can't really guess what it's going to be about. So let's jump into the episode. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down below in the comments what you think. And subscribe for the rest of Series 3 if you watch on YouTube. And also, if you are watching on YouTube, please take a look at my Patreon link down below. We will get the full end reactions to this episode as well as every episode so far in Season 3, as well as the next couple. Let's jump into Season 3, Episode 11, Mystery Spot. Oh, you love the song, mm -hmm. you know it. Yeah, and if I ever hear it again, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Please stop playing copyrighted music. YouTube doesn't like it. So irritating. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Pig and a poke. Tuesday. Pig and a poke. You even know what that is? Meat. <laughs> that sounds good. Yes. I'll have the special side of bacon and coffee. Uh, make it two coffees and short stack. All right, so this professor, Dexter Hasselback, he was passing through town last week when he vanished. Last known location? His daughter says he was on his way to visit the Broward County mystery spot. What's the mystery spot? Where the laws of physics have no meaning. What? Two coffees, black, and some hot sauce for the... <gasps> Oops. Why does that make me jump? <laughs> Sorry. Doggo! Oh, hi. Stroke it. Sam, you know, joints like this are only tourist traps, right? I mean, you know, balls rolling uphill, furniture nailed to the ceiling. The only dangerous to your wallet. Okay, look, I'm just saying there are spots in the world where holes open up and swallow people. The Bermuda Triangle, the uh, Oregon border. Bermuda Triangle is so fascinating. Well, sometimes these places are legit. <laughs> what do you want? A killing, sir? Right, look, I'm not They're saying showing us a lot of random weird stuff. It's got to have some sort of importance. Good night after they close, get ourselves a nice long look. Hey, look at this. This is cool. I'd like to go here. I love this kind of weird stuff. What the hell are you doing here? Whoa, 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 whoa. We could explain. What? You robbing me? Look, nobody's robbing you. Calm down. I'm just putting the gun down. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to. No! Okay. They're not going to say they were around and kill Dean off, right? It's not going to be episode 11 at the start of an episode, surely. 
So something's something's not right here. Are we in a Groundhog Day situation? <laughs> Is this going to be like... Oh no, what was it called? True Calling, did you ever watch that show? We should like, go back in time and save the people from dying. <laughs> Is he going to think it's maybe one of his visions again? You know, because he used to have visions all the time. Why wouldn't no, you? I think I... Man, I had a weird dream. Why wouldn't you tell them? It's exactly yeah, the same. Come on. You don't remember any of this? Remember what? This. Today. Like 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 it's happened before? Okay. You mean like deja vu? No, I, I mean like it's like it's really happened before. <laughs> yeah, like deja vu. No, forget about deja vu. I'm asking you if it feels like like we're living yesterday all over again. Just explain yourself, boy. Okay, how is that not there? Don't, don't say it. Just don't even... Coffee flat and some Do hot drop sauce. The and, oops, crap. <gasps> Thanks. Come on, Sam. Just say what happened. This happened, this happened, this happened. Went to that place, you got shot, you died. Dean will believe it. You had enough visions in the first two seasons. Dean. Okay. Whatever. We'll go now. Shit, the bad. <laughs> oh my god. Dean! Dean! No! No! Okay, so I'm seeing where this episode's going. <laughs> so I'm guessing that he's gonna try tons of different ways to stop Dean dying this way, that way, this way, and then he dies a different way every time. Which I quite enjoy. That's cool. I, I like Groundhog Day, the film. I like when it's an episode of Buffy called I think it's Life Serial, where she has that section. Where she's in the shop and have to make the sale over and over again. That's always really funny. Hey, you think that you're in some kind of a what a time loop? Like Groundhog Day. Yes, exactly, like Groundhog Day. Uh-huh. So you don't believe me? <laughs> I'm sure that there's some sort of an explanation. You're just gonna have to go with me on this, alright, Dean? You just have to. You owe me that much. Down. Don't tell me to call me. Yeah, have you guys ever played Life is Strange? Because there's a scene very similar to this, whether in a diner, and she has to prove that she can rewind time and stuff. Die. I'm not gonna die, not today. Okay, go now. Don't let him walk into the street. <laughs> Wait, did he? Oh. Yesterday, yeah. Boss. <laughs> and? I mean, it's probably fun to for us to watch, did it look cool? but living through it would be quite traumatic. The guy who went missing, Dexter Hasselback, can you take it to us? Uh, hold on a minute. What kind of article is this? Just answer the question. The police scoured every inch of this place. They couldn't find that man. I never seen him before. We're a family established. Listen to me. There's something weird going on here. Now, do you know anything about it or not? I say we grab some takeout, head back to the motel, lay low until midnight. <laughs> All right, good. Who wants Chinese? No. I knew something was going to happen. <laughs> oh, God. Furniture from before. Right, okay. Oh. You say I order the same thing every day, right? You're picking a poke side of bacon. Excuse me, sweetheart. I get sausage instead of bacon. Sure thing, hon. It's not going to save you, though. See? It's not that Stay easy. Is he going to choke on that sausage? Yeah. <laughs> Dean? <laughs> you mean we can't even go out for breakfast? You'll thank me when it's Wednesday. Fall in the shower and break his neck or something. <laughs> yep. These tacos taste funny to you. <laughs> well, obviously keeping him at home isn't <laughs> saving his life, Sam. Come on. Uh oh. Dean? Oh no. And some hot sauce for the whoops. Oh, crap. Thanks. 
<laughs> nice reflex. I knew what was going to happen, Dean. I know everything that's going to happen. You don't know everything. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah okay. right. Nice, nice guess. guess. It wasn't a guess. Right, right you're a mind mind. reader. Cut it out, Sam. <laughs> Sam. You think you're being funny, but you're being really, really childish. Sam Winchester wears makeup. Sam Winchester cries his way through sex. <laughs> Sam Winchester keeps a ruler by the bed, and every morning when he wakes up, he's okay enough. <laughs> Hunter Tuesdays, you never bothered to check what she was holding in her hands? <laughs> Is the guy who went missing? Text yeah. 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 It's his daughter back there. <laughs> hey, buddy. Somebody need a friend? I think he's gonna kill you. <laughs> has maple syrup for the past hundred Tuesdays, all of a sudden he's having strawberry? Uh, don't know if that meant he was the guy behind it all. your MO that gave you away. Going after pompous jerks, giving them their just desserts. Oh. Your kind loves that, don't they? Yeah, trickster? Sure, okay. So the trickster. I love the trickster. Down. Say, maybe you should. No! Please. Don't lie to me! I know what you are! We've killed one of your kind before. No, you haven't. Hey! It's a trickster demon! Actually, Bucko? He didn't. Hi. He said he didn't believe in wormholes, so I dropped him in one. <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing around. You can't take a joke? Fine. Just stay yeah. him. I would. Tomorrow, you wake up, it'll be Wednesday. I swear. You're lying. If I am, you know where to find me. Having pancakes at the diner. Easier to just kill you. I'm sorry, kiddo. Can't have that. It's a different song, though. So it is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I remember you were pretty whacked out of it yesterday, and then I remember running into the trickster. Okay, so that did happen. Good. Alright. So are we going to be in, like, a new loop? Give me your wallet. Uh-oh. So I wonder if they're just going to start repeating Wednesday over and over rather than right. Tuesday. Nobody wants to stay in the wrong way. Let's talk about it a sec. Dean! Oh dear. Uh, is he going to wake up again? No, because he's waiting to wake up, which means he's not going to wake up. Damn. So he's not reliving <laughs> this day over and over. It's Sam. Leave me a message. Sam, it's Bobby. Heard about that demon thing you took care of in Death Valley. Nice job. Been about three months we talked, though. Be nice to hear your voice. Three months? This episode's taking a weird turn from. Oh. I like this shot. <laughs> I don't know whether they've just given him tighter clothes or he's been hitting the gym a lot this season, but you can tell he's getting in bad shape. Sam, it's Bobby. I found him. Found the summoning ritual to bring the trickster here. Is that the trickster? What do we need? Blood. How much blood? The ritual says you're a gallon. You boys are the closest thing I have to family. I don't believe this is Bobby. I don't know why. It's just it's such a uh, big emotional moment. It's not been earned, I don't think. Which makes me believe that's the trickster demon trying to get Sam to just be all emotional and sad and stuff. Do you want to know why? Because you're not Bobby. Uh, Is that actually Bobby? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Which I know, like, it's a really serious thing if you kill Bobby, but it just, the way this episode is Bobby. going, I can imagine it's all just going to loop. Oh, okay, see. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's still going to go back to normal at the end. You're right. I was just screwing with you. <laughs> There's a lesson here that I've been trying to drill into that freakish Cro-Magnon skull of yours. <laughs> lesson? What lesson? 
This obsession to save Dean? The way you two keep sacrificing yourselves for each other? Nothing good comes out of it. Why do you care? It's blood and pain. I mean, he's, he's right. Sometimes and the message is great. But why does the trickster Brother. want to show him this message? Yep. And like it or not, this is what life's going to be like without him. Please. This all stopped being fun months ago. <laughs> You're Travis Bickle in a skirt, pal. Come over it. Meaning what? Meaning that's for me to know and you to find out. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Which usually follows Tuesday. <laughs> I mean, Jared was already in good shape, but he definitely looks like he's bulking up a bit more than he was last season. Do you have? Enough. Wait. What do you remember? Wait, you're not going anywhere alone. It's the parking lot, Sam. Just... Just trust me. Hey, you don't look so good. Something else happened? I just had a really weird dream. Clowns or midgets? <laughs> Okay, guys, that was my reaction to Series 3, Episode 11, Mystery Spot. And I can see, for sure, why it's a fan favourite. It's a really fun episode, especially at like the first two-thirds, maybe, when Dean's dying over and over again. It's really fun. And I think a lot of people are like myself. They really enjoy Groundhog Day episodes of shows. Like, say, X-Files has done it. Buffy's done it. Uh, obviously, Steven Natural's now done it. And I imagine loads of shows have done it that I haven't watched. Uh, there's movies like it. And they're just... I always find them really fun. Because you get to learn, obviously, that the short day and all the little things that happen. You get to see them over and over again, but you get to see them variations of it, but how they always lead to something bad happening. And I also mentioned there was a show called True Calling, which where it was based around that. Every episode was a woman in a morgue. The dead body would say, help me. And she would rewind the day, have to relive it, and save the person. So, yeah, I really enjoyed Groundhog Day stuff, and this was no different. And maybe I'm a bit cruel, but I would have enjoyed to see more of that than I did, like, the last third up so was good, like, when Sam was living for a few months without Dean, and obviously hunting the tricks, so that was good in its own dark way, which I'll get to, but I think I would have enjoyed it maybe more if it was just all Dean dying, Dean dying, Dean dying, because, yeah, it's a bit harsh, and it's a bit cruel to see him dying in all these ways, but it's not permanent, so that's why they can kind of get away with it, and it's fun, and I would have, I would have enjoyed a lot of the deaths that were off screen, maybe getting to see them, or getting to see just random funny ways of dying as opposed to some really serious stuff. Um, but it was fun, and I, like I say, I enjoyed the, the structure. The last third, the last quarter, third, whatever, was different in a really weird turn of events. Like, it went from, whilst it was hard for Dean and uh, Sam, sorry, and Dark for him to see all this death, it was, like a, it was meant to be sort of fun because it was like, how is Dean going to die this time? The end of the episode was a totally different thing when Dean was dead. He was actually dead. The tricks to let him get to the next day, then Dean died, and it was all about Sam just hunting the tricks of Demon and getting more hench by the looks of it, and uh, it was interesting. I don't think it was the best part of the episode by any means, but it was an interesting take on it because it kind of shows what life is going to be like without Dean, like the tricks are said. And then that also leads me to think, they're not going to do that storyline again, so they're either going to do one of two things. Dean's not going to die at the end of the season, or Dean goes to hell till season four, but it's going to be a different um, outcome. Um, I don't know how to word it. So they won't... In this episode, we saw Sam go down this dark, hunting, ignoring everybody, going on his own solo hunting mission to get Dean back. I don't think they'll do that storyline again after Dean maybe dies at the end of the season. In which case they'll do something completely different or Dean won't die. I know that's kind of a tangent that doesn't really mean much of anything. But it was interesting to see that kind of story and how he kind of pushed everybody away. Similar to how, I guess, how Dean was at the end of Series 2 when Sam died. He went down sort of like a dark path. Not for as long. It was only hours, days maybe. I can't remember exactly how long it was that Sam died for. Whereas this one was months and, and Sam was still going after the trickster to try and uh, get him to rewind time. Yeah, interesting. it was interesting. It was interesting to see the kind of how similar their uh, reactions were. But it was also, I guess it would have had more of an emotional impact on me if I didn't know that Dean was going to come back. I mean, I didn't know 100%, but 
I know he's in every season, so I knew they weren't going to kill him off in this episode. So it kind of, a lot of the emotional impact didn't really resonate with me that much, but I don't think that was meant to be that impactful because the first most of the episode was like more of a fun thing. You just knew that this was like, just an avenue they're going to show you that Sam's character could go down. He goes down this kind of dark solo revenge path like Dean did. But I think they showed you that because that's not what's going to happen, if that makes sense. So I think that's a way of going, this could happen, but likelihood is it's not going to happen at the end of the season. I hope that makes some sort of sense. I'm not talking completely out my ass. I felt like the storyline with uh, Dexter that went missing was going to have more of an impact. Maybe he was the demon or he was stuck in a loop as well. They had to save him from. Uh, didn't really have much of an impact on the storyline other than the tricks that just killed him. <laughs> you know, he said he doesn't believe in black holes, so he threw him into a black hole. <laughs> But it was good. It was a really fun episode. I like the mystery spot place. I actually would love to go somewhere like that. Where it's all like things on the ceiling, oddly sized things. And just things that all throw your perspective off and kind of mess with your mind a little bit. I enjoyed all that kind of stuff. I enjoyed the design of it. I enjoyed all the little minor characters that we saw. I guess, I think my only improvement to the episode probably would have been more of Dean's death. Which I know not everybody agrees with. I know I had one comment when someone said they love this episode coming up. Someone else said... They don't love it. <laughs> they actually find it quite a cruel episode. I, I, I can see your point, but I don't agree. I think it was really fun, and I would have enjoyed to see more of Dean's death because it wasn't permanent. If it was, like, done as a comedy thing and Dean was dying, like, we saw the hundred different deaths, even, like, really quick shots. Like, we did it briefly in the, mo- in the mall, in the motel when Dean was electrocuted and he slipped in the shower, that kind of stuff, but we saw more of it. I would have really enjoyed that. Um... But yeah, it was a really good episode. I can see, definitely see why it's a fan, fan favourite. It's a, it's a fun episode. Like I said, I'm always down for a Groundhog-style episode of any TV show. It's pretty much an easy way to have a, a Monster of the Week episode, but it not really have a lot of impact because the, the, the emotional impact that each day can have, you restart, you restart, you restart, and it kind of usually is all just all good again. But also, it was really good to see the Trickster redeem again. Like, I really enjoyed him in Tall Tales, which is another fan favourite, so I wonder if when he's inevitably going to come back in the next season, if that's going to be a fan favourite and so on for Series 5 until they eventually defeat the Tricks of the Demon. Is he going to be in every season of the show? I don't know. Please don't spoil it for me. Yeah, I'd like to be surprised, so please don't tell me. I want to go into it as blind as possible. But yeah, really fun episode. I can see how people like it. Great to see the Tricks of the Demon again. I enjoyed the Groundhog Day stuff. Good characters. I enjoyed the minor characters, the reef bits we saw of them. Um, yeah, I enjoyed the emotional impact and how it kind of touched on what might happen at the end of the season probably won't because they've shown us this outcome already. So, thanks for watching, guys. hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comments what you think of Mystery Spot. I imagine most of you are going to love it and say really positive things because you really enjoyed this episode. It's a fan favourite. So I imagine most of the comments will be good. Please let me know if you enjoyed my reaction. And as always, my name is Scott. Hope you guys are well. Take care of yourselves and staying safe. Like I say, if you enjoyed the video, please let me know down below what you think. Subscribe for the rest of Series 3, which is only five more episodes, which is crazy. And yeah, I'll see you soon for the next episode. Bye guys, take care, and I'll see you very soon for the next episode of Series 3 of Supernatural.